Planet Explorer is Planet's main application for searching, visualizing, and ordering planet imagery. I can quickly provide an area of interest and find recent planet scope imagery to use for my applications. But if I'm working in a GIS software like ArcGIS Online, I need to access this imagery from outside of Planet Explorer. One option you have today is you can order imagery and download that use for use within whichever software you're using. However, today I'm going to show you how you can use Sentinel Hub to stream imagery into GIS software so you don't even need to download images. Sentinel Hub is Planet's platform for managing, streaming, and analyzing Earth observation data, both planet as well as public constellations like Sentinel, Atlanta. And with just a few clicks, I can bring daily planet scope imagery into my GIS software with ease. The first step is to order imagery from Sentinel Hub. I've already ordered some images and where they get brought to is my Sentinel Hub account. I have access to collections of imagery that I've ordered. Here, I then have what are called configuration utilities, which I can customize how, this images, how these images are streamed out into different software. For example, I have a true color visualization of this daily planet scope images that I've ordered, or I have an NDVI visualization. And these can be highly customized. For example, here's an example of utilizing NDVI uh, with a threshold to highlight areas where NDVI values are below a certain uh, threshold. So these are completely customizable. You can specify time ranges, mosaic, uh, mosaicing order, and write customized evaluation scripts that determine how these visualizations are rendered. Once you've created these visualizations, you can simply stream them into your application by copying a WMTS service, going into ArcGIS Online, and adding a layer from URL. At this point, you'll be able to pick from all the different renders that you've pre-configured. I'll click the one that shows me where NDVI is less than a certain threshold and add it to my map. And without ever having to download a single image, I've been able to stream this recent planet scope imagery into my GIS environment. This also works with Planet's high resolution SkySat data product, which I can again add to this collection with a true color renderer. And now I have access to daily imagery from Planet Scope as well as high resolution task imagery directly in my GIS software without ever having had to download a single image.